Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to explore the current gain of an NPN transistor. Now, there are two different kinds of current gains when we talk about an NPN transistor. The most important one, the current gain, is the ratio between the collector current and the base current. Remember that a very small amount of base current will allow a lot of current to flow from the collector to the emitter. The ratio of that is typically anywhere from about 50 to 200. In other words, if a microamp of current flows to the base current, 100 times as much, 100 microamps of current will flow from the collector to the emitter. So that's why we talk about a current gain of 100 to 1. We have a different kind of current gain as well. The current gain where we compare the collector current to the emitter current. Since the collector current increases by just a small amount the base current to add up to the emitter current, the ratio of the collector current to the emitter current is always equal to a number very close to 1. We're going to compare the beta and the alpha, the different kinds of current gains on a transistor like this. First of all, what we're going to do is solve this equation for the collector current. So we can say that the collector current is equal to the emitter current times alpha. Then we're going to take this equation right here and solve that for the base current. So I sub b, the base current, is equal to the emitter current minus the collector current. If we now take this collector current here and, sub and replace that by the alpha times emitter current, we get the following. The base current is equal to the emitter current minus alpha times the emitter current. The next step I want to do here, because ultimately what what we're trying to do here is, is write the beta in terms of alpha. We want to compare the two kinds of current gains to one another. So we're going to factor out the I emitter here. So I base is equal to I emitter times 1 minus alpha. Now we're going to combine the equation that we have over here for the current gain between the collector and the base. And we're going to compare that to here. So what we're going to do here is we Bringing this equation down, write beta is equal to I sub C divided by I sub B, the collector current divided by the base current. And this can now be written as I sub C can be now be written as I sub E times alpha. And I sub B can be written as I sub E times 1 minus alpha. And of course, the I sub E's cancel out, which means that the relationship between beta, which represents the current gain between the collector and the base, can be written in terms of the current gain between the collector and the emitter as follows. So that cancels out, so we have alpha divided by 1 minus alpha. Now beta is a very large number. Alpha is a number close to 1, but not quite 1. So 1 divided by 1 minus a number very close to 1 will give us a big number. So you can see that this relationship works quite nicely. You can also take this equation and solve it for alpha. So let's come over here and let's multiply beta times 1 minus alpha. So you get beta times 1 minus alpha is equal to alpha. Multiplying this through, we get beta minus alpha times beta is equal to alpha. And then bringing this across to the other side. Oh, let's see here. Maybe we'll bring both of these to one side. So let's see here. Beta equals alpha plus alpha times beta. And then we can factor out an alpha from that. That means that beta is equal to alpha times 1 plus beta. And finally, when we divide both sides by 1 plus beta, turn the equation around, we can then say that alpha, which is the current gain from the collector relative to the emitter, can be written as beta divided by 1 plus beta. So we have the relationship between alpha and beta in this form and the ratio between alpha and beta in this form. The two different kinds of current gains, but again, this is the one that we typically talk about, which is the current gain of the collector relative to the base. And now we have a better understanding about what we mean with the current gain of an NPN transistor.